Hello and welcome to Jaylee TV with me Jack Delaney. I hope you have a great Christmas and a happy new year and welcome to 2016. Believe it or not this is my first video of 2016 and I can't wait to get started. And yes as you can see I've got a new set. I've been working on a studio all over Christmas and I can't wait to show you the final piece. This is part of it and I just can't wait. 2016 for me is going to be bigger and better. So please stay tuned uh, with me because uh, I've got some really good ideas up my sleeve for this year and it's going to be incredible. Your support was amazing last year. My subscribers, my followers, my likes, they just all went through the roof and I'm really grateful. I've met a lot of friends on the way and I've done some great interviews so thank you so much for your support and I really appreciate it. So as you know I reviewed this year's X Factor and we found our winner Louisa Johnson which I'm thrilled for her because she was one of my favourites. And I thought, why not? Let's review The Voice. We are at Series 5. I love The Voice. And this year, it's bigger and better. We've got two new judges, Boy George and Paloma Faith. I think them two are amazing. I'm not sure if I'm a massive fan of Boy George yet, but I love Paloma Faith. She is wicked and she has a great voice. And that is a great addition to the, um, the judgment panel of this series. So I'm going to be reviewing the voice all the way up to the live final so we can find our voice winner of 2016. So the voice is really simple. We have four judges and if they like them they press the red button, turn around and then they do their pitch to see who wins the contestant. The voice format is a little bit different which I think it makes it a little bit more unique. They do a blind audition, they do battles, they do knockouts and then they do the live shows, which I went to the live shows last year, and it is incredible, so we're in for a real treat this year. New judges, new singers, let's see who wins this year's voice. Just the same as the X Factor videos, I'll be picking my top five auditions from the voice this year. Now we're at the blind auditions, and I love the blind auditions, because we see new and fresh talent coming onto the stage who really want a piece of The Voice and also to be crowned 2016 Voice winner. We've seen some great winners over the past. Jermaine Jackman, um, we had... <laughs> and also the recent one, Stevie the Fireman, which he's just brought out an album for the first time. A Voice contestant has brought out an album. So I'm delighted for him. I haven't listened to it yet, but I'm really going to grab my copy soon. So first up, and the first one to take to the stage this year, was Beth. I thought she was fantastic. Check out her blind audition. She looked great and she sounds great. I'm not sure about the faces she pulls, but um, you know, she's a really uh, good singer. I look forward to seeing her in the uh, battle round. I thought she really worked it, she didn't do much dancing and stuff, but um, her voice and where she took it, Paloma loves it, and uh, I really loved it, it was a great audition, so Paloma turned first and then quickly straight after Boy George. It was a big one, all four judges turned at the first audition of that, and then um, Paloma Faye managed to grab her, that is a great audition to uh, Paloma Faye's team go forward in the competition. The only girl judge this year, Paloma Faith, I guess she wants to win it for the girl power. A fantastic first blind audition for Beth and uh, a really strong performance. She looks great and uh, I look forward to seeing more. Well, Will loves it, everyone just loves it and I loved it. So that was Beth walking the uh, voice stage the very first time. Next up we got the voices very own Harry Styles. It is Tom, the fishmonger. When I first saw him, I wasn't too sure about him. But then when he opens his voice, oh it's just wow. I loved it. He's one of my favourites so far. And he sings the songs that I love and he performed them so well. Um, not sure about what he's wearing, but he loves fish so uh, You've got to give it to him for getting on to the show and uh, performing like that. And uh, he seems a fun guy, so uh, 
I look forward to seeing more of him, definitely. But I really love that, uh, the style he sings it in there. Uh, you know, Mickey turn fast, he loves it. And uh, I don't know, tell me what you think about the judges this year, because uh, I think we're in for a real treat, but that's just me. And, uh, you know, Boy George can, what's your opinion on Boy George being a, a judge at this year's voice? I thought he really brought it to the stage and uh, he hasn't got a really strong voice and powerful and loud, but um, the way he does the performance things, it's just uh, fantastic. So uh, yeah, I look really forward to seeing him again. And um, three judges turn and Will I Am done the best picture and got it. And I think Will I Am was a great choice for Tom and he's really gonna show him how to perform uh, throughout this competition. So I look forward to seeing more of him. Next up, and I can't believe this one, this guy didn't get through. Yes, I know, he looks about 10, but what about this voice? He's actually 23 with a kid. And when I saw what he was wearing, I thought, this guy's gonna rap, do some chai pop stuff. And he opened his voice and I was like, wow, like really shocked and I thought, I love this guy. But as it goes on and on, you get like, all George is looking and Will's like, wow, this is dope. But no one turns. I don't know if it's because they can't work with him, they don't know where to take him. Is he for the boys that is debatable? I don't know how far he would get in the competition. But I thought, you know, what he's wearing, how he looks. Then to do this, it's the shock factor, and uh, I'm pretty gutted he didn't get through, but I'd really like to see more of him. But uh, he's got a great voice, and I'm sure getting this airtime on the BBC will give him uh, a boost of confidence and really help him. Uh, and uh, it was a great song from Tom, not familiar from it, but you can really uh, take into consideration his talent. And, uh, Wow, but can't believe he didn't get through. Next up we got Brooklyn. Yes, Brooklyn's in the house. She gave a really solid performance. I wasn't too sure about this girl because I heard her sick and I thought we've already seen some stronger girls than her. And I thought, has she got the voice? I'm not sure. But the more she sat, the more I kind of liked her. I'm sure uh, Ricky got her and I'm sure Ricky will give her the right songs and the right clothes and now um, yeah Kalema loves it and our uh, boy George actually loves it. Two turned it was out of Ricky and Boy George. But Ricky's done a great pitch as always as he does. And um got her and I think they were uh, put them into the right direction and uh, that's quite uh, a good one for Ricky's team so far. So um yeah not sure on the song and I'm not sure on the performance yet I really need to see more of that. But um, yeah, that was Brooklyn. I saved my best to last, it's Cody. I thought this girl is really talented and I loved her voice and I love her style. To do this is so unique and to, uh, you know, stand on that stage looking like that shows she's a powerful girl. And um, yes, I will tell you, boy George turned her and got her. And I think that is the right match because they're quite similar to people, what they wear and what they sing. And, um, I can't wait to see what Boy George has got up his sleeve for her because uh, she is a really talented girl and uh, her voice is just amazing. She reminds me of Sophie May from uh, two years ago. So that was it, that was me reviewing episode one of the Blind Audition. I picked my top five Blind Auditions from episode one of the brand new series of The Voice. It was a great start of this series of The Voice and I can't wait to get um, into it more to see more blind auditions and the battle rounds. I love the battle rounds and the knockouts because it really gets going um, and I can't wait to get that far in the competition. Please let me know what you thought about the new judges Paloma Fave and Boy George. I don't know but I think Boy George is sort of getting on my nerves a little bit the way he talks about himself all the time. I love Will I Am and I love Ricky. I think Will I Am is so unique and so bonkers and dope. He's just out of this world and to have him on the judging panel is incredible and uh, he really picks the ones that I love so I can't wait to see who he chooses in episode 2, The Blind Auditions. 
Thank you so much for watching. I love making these videos. I hope you love watching them. I'm going to be doing these videos all the way up to the live final, so please stay tuned and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Official Daily TV, for more videos like this. And please give it a massive thumbs up because it helps me a lot. And don't forget to follow me, everything social, that will be in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I've been Jack Delaney. You've been watching JDTV. Take care.